Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 143, and this is a CUSO dated 8-21-13. And what you're seeing is a portion of my screen. Um, the, the capture software I use works better if you don't try to capture the whole screen. So that's why I only got a portion of it. But anyway, uh, I've been searching for information about amateur radio repeaters in my area. And so last night I did a search on repeater map. There it is, repeater map. And the first thing that's listed here is K5EHX amateur radio repeater mapping. So we can go to that page. And when you do that, like I say, I'm not showing you the full screen, you, you, get this, uh, you get this map of the world. And you can do a search. If you come down here, some of the options might be cut off here because I'm just doing a little window. Um, here's some options. You can, you can search by your call sign, by a tag search, a state search, or directions. I think that means um, Latin law. So anyway, I'm going to do it by call sign. So put in KE4GSK. Go. And it zooms in the t in the uh, area where I live where this is a section of the Florida map and specifically in this area right here is the Tampa Bay area. And I'm not, I still haven't found out exactly what these rings mean. They're, they're dealing with distance, of course. And I know the big ring here is, is a 100-mile ring across, 100 miles across. Because I know Inverness is about 100 miles from us. But there's blue rings down here, and there's a whole bunch of red rings. So I don't know what the rings mean. So anyway, let's go in. So we can, uh, this is a Google map, so we can use the Google uh, symbols here to zoom in and move around. So here's the Tampa Bay area. And you can see these little uh, red plus signs indicate where the repeater antennas are located. And you can see there's a bunch of them in Tampa Bay area. There's a whole bunch down in St. Pete down here. And uh, last night I was at the ballpark. And I was up about 30, 35 feet up in the air in the stands. And I had my scanner with me. And I started scanning the amateur radio band, the two-meter band. And sure enough, I was picking up uh, a lot of communications. Unlike... Uh, when I tried to scan that area in my office, which is known to be a poor place to receive things, I didn't receive anything. And I can remember receiving uh, 145.29, 147.030, and I was located, let's see, here's 60. The stadium is right in this area, so that's where I was located. And I remember 146.7. So those were just a 146.97. And those were just a couple of repeaters that were active last night while I was at the ball game. So this, this is a really handy website uh, for finding exactly on a map where repeaters are near you or near some place you're planning on going. And it works throughout the world. It's not the United, just the United States. I tried... Earlier, I tried uh, Montreal, Canada. It shows some repeaters in Canada. I tried uh, England. It shows some repeaters there. And then over here, again, it's a little bit off this, my little capture window. It gives you information about each of these stations, where they're located, who owns them, um, the information about uh, using them, you know, what the offset is what the uh, PL tone is if one's required, et cetera, et cetera. And these are all listed over here in this 
column over here all the ones that are shown on the screen it shows the details oops I just saw something interesting oh there's there's our uh, little amateur radio club repeater WD zero DIA which has about <laughs> five users because we have a club that has about five members anyway but it's open I mean anybody can use it so anyway this is the website let me go back here to my search page so here's what I did I did a search on repeater mapping and the first uh, results here is the one for k5ehx.net is the website location and that's that repeater map the guy has done an excellent job of this of having all the I don't not sure how he he did it and I'm still learning how to use it so anyway that's the show for today thanks for watching uh, if you enjoyed this please give me a thumbs up bye bye